Hey you guys, it is Max Imagination here. Today in this video, I'll be showing you how to make a motorized Jeep Wrangler. And if you want to know how to make it, let's get started. So here's all the tools and materials you're going to need to make this Jeep Wrangler. You will need the chassis of your car, the back of your car, the front grill plate that goes to the very front of your car, the bonnet, the roof, the two sides of the car, we have the windshield, then you will need your wheels. For your wheels, you have five layers of cardboard all stacked together. You will need your soldering lead, a couple of DC motors, a straw and a skewer, and then for your mud guards, you have your front mud guards and your back, back mud guards, a hot glue gun with some hot glue sticks, your battery tray with a couple of double A batteries, and then an on and off switch, a pair of scissors, and a soldering iron. Moving on, we have some pieces of cardboard here. These are the treads of the wheels, or the tire thingies. And we have a couple of circles here and a piece of cardboard for the back of the car, which is a wheel that goes onto the back, you can see here. And at last, your knife. And regarding the templates for the pieces of cardboard that you see here that goes to the car, you can either go on Google, find some templates, print them and cut them out, or just draw them from the real Jeep Wrangler that you see on Google Images, like I did. So let's start out by taking the sides of the car, putting some hot glue on the front, and then putting our grill at the very front of the car, like that. And we're going to do the same on the other side. Now let's glue the back of our car to the back of these two sides. Then we're going to glue our bonnet on. Once that's done, we're going to glue our windshield on. And then the roof. And make sure when you glue it is that the edges have to meet up with the sides of the car, not the front or the back, because over there we have some gaps. And make sure the roof is like convex, and then we're going to have some gaps that we have to fill up. And once you're done filling in your gaps, we have the four wheels here that we're going to be making and make sure that each wheel has five layers of cardboard and we're going to be gluing each of them together one by one so we get a wheel and once you have your wheel we're going to make three more now that we've made four wheels it's time to put the tires on or the treads of the wheel basically we have these four treads we're going to put some hot glue on the edge of the wheel just like that Put as much as you need, and then you're going to put your treads around it on each wheel. So now you can see that I've done it to each of the wheels. Since we're on a roll of making wheels, let's do the back wheel, which is a spare wheel that will be going onto the back of our truck. Simply by taking the two circles, putting some glue on each of them, and then basically wrapping this piece of cardboard around them. So now that that's done, we can put our spare wheel onto the back of the car, simply just using some hot glue and gluing it on. We've been doing good with this Jeep Wrangler so far. Now it's time to put some mud guards onto each of the wheel opening. That's basically where the wheels are going to sit under. Simply by taking each mud guard and putting some hot glue on and then gluing it to each cutout, basically the opening of the wheel. Now we can start by wheeling in some of our electronic parts, starting out with the DC motors. You're going to glue one of the motors to one side of the car and the other one to the other side. And make sure it goes right below the mud guards. And some of the motor, part of the motor has to be sticking out from the cardboard so it's not all the way in the cardboard. So you make sure the wheel sticks out a little bit. So now that we're finished gluing the motors in place, we have to see that the cables have to go the correct way and connect to the battery tray correctly so that everything works. It's time to wire some electronics. 
you have to do it correctly and make sure that the positive end of one motor has to go to the negative end of the other motor and the positive end of that motor has to go to the negative end of the other motor and once we have done that so we have to wire them together and we have to see that it actually works and spins the correct direction so that our wheels will be moving forward not any other direction and before you connect the motors to the battery tray you have to make sure they also wire the switch in place and I forgot to tell you, you're also going to need two extra cables for the switch. And you're going to wire those cables to a couple of the cables that connect to one motor. And you're basically going to snip it in half, skin the cables, and wire them correctly so that we have a running car. Now it's time to wire the wires to the battery tray simply by taking the edge of the wire that is already skinned and wrapping it around the little knob underneath it which is the minus and doing the same with the other wire that we already combined together and wrapping underneath the other knob which is the positive end. And also make sure that you glue the battery tray to the chassis of the car or the piece of cardboard. Oh yes, and before you wire the switch to those cables, you have to feed those two cables through that hole that we made in the Jeep, and then we're going to wire the switch only then, and then we're going to push the switch in, and then we're going to hot glue it. And once you hot glue the switch in place, we're going to have a straw glued in front of the battery tray. These are for the front wheels, so we're going to glue the straw in place and put a skewer through and cut them the correct way, as shown. Now it's time to glue the body of the Jeep to the base of the Jeep Wrangler and make sure none of the cables or wires stick out between the cracks. Now we're going to glue the back and the front of the body of the car to the chassis of the car and make sure that there won't be any more cracks left. Once that's done, now we have the wheels of the Jeep Wrangler. We're going to connect the front wheels to the front of the car which is the axle and the back wheels which you're going to be connecting to the back where the motors sit and make sure you glue them if needed. Now we are done with the Jeep Wrangler. Yeehaw! Now it's time to give it a ride. Just so you know, these video clips of the Jeep Wrangler rolling are not sped up. This is actually real speed. Here you go guys, I had a lot of fun making this Jeep Wrangler, and if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Thanks for watching guys, see you next week, peace!